Namaste everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this collective reading, this energy reading. Here I can see a shift. I can see actually multiple masculines shifting and they are different from each other but they are still same because in the core they are all divine masculines. And this shift is very important because they are shifting towards the divine feminine energy. They are shifting towards the divine feminine and they've made their mind. They've made their mind to heal, to brighten up their life, to become a better person. I can sense this refreshing energy in them. Yes, they have made a lot of mistakes in the past. They've done a lot of things in the past. But they are now only focused on true love. The achievement of true love, the practicing of true love. Even on my channel, I read comments of some really pure divine masculine energy i read their comments and they've written such profound powerful things such amazing things these are the men who are actually going through a real transformation they are going through a real union because many coaches all over the world have been teaching people about physical union only they have been putting people into a very negative state because Though people can be very happy, people can be very happy by themselves and they can experience union because when you experience union, you experience love like you've never experienced it before. You have this spark in you, you have this energy in you. Even on bad days, you have a beautiful energy. If anyone comes in contact with you, they are affected by it. You are not scared to express. You are not scared to emote also. You are like a child. A child can cry, laugh, be happy. Five minutes ago, a child would be crying and 10 minutes later, the same child is playing with a toy and doesn't even remember that it was crying or unhappy about something. Because the child is not scared to ask. The child knows that this is child's right to ask and take whatever it's required. So the child is looking at its parents, you know, but we are here talking about an environment where a child is in a healthy environment, a healthy environment where the caretakers are both healed. Yesterday I had shared a channeling where I talked about a divine feminine who realizes that the reason why she's separated or reason why she's going through all this is because in her childhood or growing up years, she did not have the healed, the empowered masculine person. Or maybe she has to still forgive her father or she still has to release the shrads or the impact of the narcissistic abuse. That not just comes from father, father becomes the first person, the sun energy, but it also comes from society, it also comes from other distorted energies, it comes from media, it comes from the mainstream media, most importantly the films. Like the type of movies you watch as a child, it has a very big impact on you. Because in those formative years, you form a perception about everything. And that information, that knowledge stays with you for the rest of your life. Which is the reason why I always talk about this. I'm trying to work on this. This is also one of my missions to make people understand the difference between healthy entertainment and toxic entertainment, entertainment that can ruin your life. It can not just ruin your life, but your next generations to come. In this particular channeling session, I see different masculines. I can remotely pick up on their energy. And these are also very attractive. They are all attractive, good looking men. And you know, everybody has different ideas about good looks, but in their minds, they know that they're good looking and they're attractive they are worthy they feel that they are worthy or they have developed this energy of worthiness the energy of worthiness is so important without this energy nothing can happen because if a person feels they're unworthy what is it that they can attract they can be good looking they can be smart they can be educated they can be you know soft spoken or they can be macho whatever you know whatever is the trend but if they are not worthy inside their heads, like I also know masculines personally also, in real world also, not that this is not real world, but when I say real, I mean physical reality. I know these masculines who are really brilliant. They have got everything. God has given them everything, height, looks, personality, money. You ask, they have it all. But they are always in the feelings of being unworthy. They're 
always feeling unworthy of love so they are never able to attract a healthy relationship if they attract any relationship it's mostly karmic relationship or if they think that it's not a karmic relationship then it is some kind of toxic situation that they are in so why because they are not working on themselves they're not releasing this unworthiness it takes time to release unworthiness it takes time it takes therapies or it takes good counseling it takes uh, journaling lots of combinations things that you need to do you need to take care of yourself because the masculines that i'm talking about they were not given that care which is why they develop the unworthiness energy so when we give that care that we deserve we communicate with high vibrational people we are living in reality we are not living in false hopes if you want to lose weight and someone gives you a false hope that tomorrow you will lose 20 kg that's a false hope but someone is giving it you like it and you want to talk to that person and every day that person comes up to you and says oh yeah you've lost so much weight but that person is lying to you visibly a person who comes up to you and says hey you got to do this workout or you got to do this course of action take this course of action they are being realistic and at the same time this realistic person is also being positive they are positively charged they don't have any ulterior motives with you they are telling you look you can do it i can do it that person can do it that one over there can do it you can also do it but you have to do it you have to get up and do it and you can get up and do it just put your mind into it so that type of positive talk is needed big time for a lot of divine masculines though the people i'm channeling right now they have this maybe it's coming from their guides because before this channeling started i actually saw more people in this i saw like some people were around these two you know they were not alone and they were being watched in the beginning of this channeling session i could see the energy of the healed uh, feminines but there are also the spirit guides who are helping this masculine because these masculines because masculines need the feminine push they need the feminine energy and it's always the feminine who acts as a mentor the oracle the healer the teacher the guide but she does all of this first by healing herself and how does she heal herself by forgiving and letting go of all of the attachments and pain traumas that are associated with the masculine energy so feminine heals by detaching from masculine and masculine heals with the help of feminine so it's literally like wow where does it really start from it starts from actually starts from feminine healing So yes I can see that different places in different locations physical locations there are different masculines who are into a shifting space yes they have moved upwards in the ascension journey and there's a very beautiful energy around them where they are also surrendering to source for a long time they were not surrendering to source they didn't believe in source they didn't believe so much or they were not maybe practicing so much maybe there was more of anger or blame they were upset with god but now they've realized that for a lot of things they don't need to bother god they don't need to bother god for every small little thing or they don't need to blame god for every small little thing because if it's a spiritual warrior that they've chosen to be then they must act like a spiritual warrior spiritual warrior is here to do god's work and you know who he learned this from he learned it from the divine feminine when he saw the divine feminine going into the direction of her empowerment her inner work her growth her advancement he was like this is so inspiring so no matter how many difficulties have been coming into their into their lives the masculines it's a collective shift actually it's happening all over the globe it's happening all over the world so even if there are diff- difficult paths that they are walking on even if they have to face people's words and certain conversations because they are breaking the typical stereotypes and notions and they're also 
able to maneuver through the rhetoric which obviously lacks sincerity and it's not really backed by any proper evidence but there are people who believe in things and there are people who expect them to behave a certain way okay you are 40 you should act like this you're 50 you should act like this you're 60 you should act, you should act like this while we move into the age of ascension lifespans increase the the time that people have youth it increases i mean if you look at your own parents if you look at our own parents my mother told me that by the time she was uh, in her early 20s she had three children now today we cannot expect that from normal people why because now people are saying no i need time i need to study i need to work i need to get a job i need to do this i need to do that blah 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 all right so i'm gonna continue from here now so these masculines all over the planet whose energy is raising they are going through a shift and even when the paths are difficult even if the way is tough even if they have challenges they have started feeling a connection with the divine feminine yes because they are actually drawing their strength from the divine feminine because she went through so many challenges but she is still doing well because whosoever i'm channeling their divine feminine is doing really well without them or maybe they are in touch maybe they're in contact but whatever it is she is doing really well she's got really good lifestyle and when I say lifestyle, it's not just materialistic. It's everything included. She's living a spiritual life. She's healthy. She is looking very good. She's fit and all of that. So wherever these masculines are placed, they are all looking at their specific particular divine feminines. And they are also now surrendering to source. So they feel they've gone through a lot as well. I mean... I told you guys in some of my other channelings that Twin Claim Ascension journey spans over a period of time. So, yeah, so they are in the King of Pentacles energy. They're able to identify opportunities for growth and success, but they're also getting into self-discipline. They are learning to control how to manage their wealth or how to if they were already rich they must have been under narcissistic control they were either dependent on their parents or they were not able to do anything on their own they were spoon fed a lot they were enabled probably so now they are actually stepping into their own power and uh, yes king of pentacles does talk about money so they are probably getting more into that mindset where they have to make their own money they cannot depend on other people or they have to do something that makes them happy because money is not just money it's not just cash it's also what makes you happy you do things that make you happy so they are putting their mind into it but they are definitely more secure than what they were earlier and they feel that with this energy of divine feminine and source combined they don't care about enemies anymore they don't care about backbiters anymore they don't care about bad people anymore they don't care about uh, those who made false promises to them those who gave them wrong commitments maybe they are some of them could be referring to the karmic connections because everything is okay as long as they have the feminine they have the love of source always remember it's a triangle it's you me and god so that you me connection is getting balanced because of feminine i'm also seeing that they are kind of done with the discovery phase they've already discovered a lot now they are ready to put it into practice they are ready to put it into implementation they are working out on a very good plan if it is someone who is uh wanting to set everything up with the feminine then they could be making a very solid foolproof plan with the feminine also for the feminine also so that life can go where it's supposed to go and they can be happy with each other or if it is a soulmate connection like if they feel that they are 
in a mission and they need to build resources or they just need to do stuff like it's not just about money but how to get things done how to go from a point to b point so many things they are working on that and it could be possible that in some cases they have moved from another country just to be close to the divine feminine yeah it could be an organic movement it could be natural but divine feminine energy the divine feminine's voice or talks something was always pulling them towards their goals it was like the person who inspired them to be who they are inspired them to be on the spiritual path maybe inspired them to be a happy person and inspired them to follow their heart so they are very much connected with the feminine so it could have been with for some people they have moved to their destination closer to their destination closer to their the seeking they are doing closer to their heart the heart chakra energy is strong sacral chakra healing is there so they feel that the feminine makes them happy the feminine is like perfect for this these masculines because they are not they are no longer into the the physical stuff the lust based relationships materialistic lust also they don't have physical lust also they don't have whatever they're doing it's coming from pure energy so they are they are more connected towards such a divine feminine and she is not like everywhere she is rare the feminine is rare but with god's help with the help of source they are able to fulfill this connection make it much better make it more strong there is more quality into it now i'm also being shown that they feel the masculines feel that they don't know exactly what how to pinpoint on this they don't know exactly how they reach to it they don't know the process of it if someone's going to ask them how did you learn this or how do you figure this out what makes you say this then they they'll be like i have no idea i don't know how i don't know why when how where nothing i don't know the 5 w's and the 1 h but i just know if i follow this now that they have established like i said they've done with the discovery process two of wands energy the third eye is also very strong right now the intuition has become stronger and uh, they have a strategy which they did not have earlier much better strategy they are not scared to fail they feel like okay fine even if i fail okay i can take few steps back and i can start over again so fire energy is being shown to me here uh overall they could be hmm so i just changed uh, my position the sitting position so yeah there is definitely foreign journey for some people moving to another country moving closer to wherever the divine feminine is uh, these people also know one thing that even if the whole world is against them still everything will be fine they have so much strong conviction that everything will be okay whatever happens happens for good whatever happened was good whatever is happening is great whatever is going to happen in the future that will also be great because as long as we are on this on this journey on this mission everything is fine this uh, is also showing me that they are experiencing some kind of ecstasy kind of feeling they are high on life it could be possible that some of them got rid of addictions it could be possible that they walked away from an unfulfilling relationship or a job or a career path maybe home maybe people they could have moved away from addiction patterns i can sense that uh, this is a good decision actually looking at all the other cards now they don't want to be stuck in that situation and could be possible that this shift this change is creating this very happy energy in them uh and it always happens that whenever we complete a cycle or we complete a stage we feel very grateful like we are getting prepared for the next level so there is a feeling of joy and this feeling of joy actually is the very reason that keeps people moving ahead in this journey 
so yeah now their life feels good they feels like the flower they feel like the flowers are blooming the autumn is gone now it's spring season the winters are gone it's spring season everywhere there's beauty everywhere there is fragrance everywhere there's joy they feel very grateful they're also looking back at everything and they're going like yeah that was a lesson and they're also saying sorry to god they've learned a bit to pray also like for a long time i think this journey also teaches people how to pray and people don't learn it it takes time we can pray for other people and uh, we should not ask materialistic things from god because we all can work on those things we need to be strong enough we need to be resilient enough but god wants us to actually work on ourselves so when we ask god to help us if we are stuck make us a better individual help us grow make us uh, someone who is for walking on the path of god following god trying to be like god then god is very helpful god energy source energy masters if we ask for everything materialistic then i think we go away from source so here he has figured out like if he's stuck in a situation if it's about money or if it's about career he's not going to say give me the best job or give me money he is rather going to say that make me strong so that i can get good opportunity make me relax make me not worry make me someone who doesn't have these spiritual diseases these mental diseases patterns like anxiety depression blame shame guilt excessively thinking too much worrying worrying is a mental disease it's a it's a manas rog as we say in hindi it's one of the spiritual problems that people have it may not be physical problem but people are overthinking unnecessarily so they have learned how to pray they have learned how to ask they've become more selfless and they've understand that you know these little moments have actually increased the the ocean's water basically drop by drop step by step these small baby steps that they took just in faith in trust just following source just following intuition because of the third eye of course they followed their intuition now they feel like they've made a bigger pool and they feel this connection is not just an external connection it's a connection that they have within when you have a strong connection within you cannot fail that easily even if you fail you can get up now they feel like there's a familiarity there's a energy of being familiar now they are not scared of the world now they are not going to stop which they used to the runner chaser dynamic it seems to me looking at this collective reading the energy seems to me that finally whosoever was stuck in this oh my god world i find it very cool when i'm saying something and the same card pops out and the world out here is literally you know the perfect card i mean it's like just completed my statement fully because now they're going to be there's going to be success there's going to be opportunities plus they have gratitude they're not going to forget because all this while whatever happened to them they were forgetting it you know like they would forget and come back forget and come back forget and come back it was not easy for them so whosoever resonates with this even if you're a feminine and you resonate with it it could be possible that you've healed your masculine energy it could be very much possible so if you're listening so far i mean i'm saying it right now uh, of course i'm going to say it only when it comes to me so it could be possible that whosoever feminine has reached till here and listening to this channeling you probably have accomplished something healing in your masculine power you've become more uh, happy with your money or you've completed the the coaching that you were getting from source for the providership because most feminines in twin flame journey are very good providers they're very good with their mission work so they like to make money they like to hustle you know they're very independent that way and they attract men also who appreciate this and who are kind of always supporting them men want to support them because they know that this 
this woman is selfless woman she's not wasting money buying clothes and brands and unnecessary makeup you know expensive unnecessary stuff she is the giver she is the the beautiful soul you know that they're so like happy to see it's so inspiring to see such a person maybe they are not able to do things that this divine feminine is able to do now divine feminine is uh crossing the bridge like she has crossed the bridge of course she has crossed the bridge that's why these guys have reached the bridge you know in a way i can say that so lovely collective reading and of course there is there is a positive energy here and uh, for personal sessions and for therapies you can check out the description box I will see you in the next video. If you get into a reading with me, then kindly do not share anything in advance because I use intuitive reading tools and modalities. And yes, I use a lot of other things which I cannot share. Everything cannot be shared on internet. Some people don't even understand and some people do. So yeah, in the personal session, in the personal session, you can ask me personal questions also about my own journey. Like what's happening, what has happened in all these years at my end also. Why not? I would love to share it. I will see you in the next video. One love, peace out and victory to Ram.